All right, so I've been taking a lot of phone calls recently from people all over the country who are really considering making Florida their home, and, and particularly Tampa. And um, the phone calls have been heating up, and I'm getting a ton from New York, New Jersey, uh, Illinois, the West Coast, and more recently, Canada. And um, I wanted to come share this with you guys today. Bear with me here, so kick off the flip-flops, and then we're gonna take a walk down the beach. I'm in Indian Rocks Beach today, um, and for those of you who are not familiar with the area, this is my home beach. Uh, I have made a video about this before. I will link it uh, in the description down below, and you can go check that video out because this is it's the reason why we stayed. So I wanted to just jump on here really quick and just share with you guys today um, about what's going on in the market particularly because, you know, if you're considering relocating or making that move, you are going to want to know what's happening in this market today. Hey everyone, my name is Juan Ancalab. This is your first time to the channel. We make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And hey, like I said, I'm getting calls from people all over the country, just like you who are considering relocating, making a move, or maybe even investing in the Tampa Bay area. However you gotta get hold of me, whether it's phone call, text message, email, heck, I'm even getting DMs on Instagram, please feel free to reach out. When it comes to making that move or anything real estate related, we here at the True Living Group have got your back. So, again, these calls are coming in. And um, what what is interesting about the phone calls is how eager people are to make the move. And, you know, we all know there's a lot of political pr pressure right now. There's a lot of challenges, you know, from the environment perspective. You know, if you're tired of weather and you're actually able to work remote now, you know, people are making a decision to go be closer to family or, you know, change their scenery. And as you guys can hear today behind me, um, and I'm not going to hide it from you here, but, you know, this is the main reason why people come and stay. But there are lots of other considerations. Like I said, family, lifestyle, quality of living, and... You know, when you look around today, we're getting close to spring break and we're, we're in what they call season where, um, you know, we have a lot of northerners who start coming down. You know, the Canadians spend the winter here. Um, they are still doing that, which is awesome. You know, people from the north will take their time off. Spring break, vacationers, you know, this, the beaches start to fill up because normally, you know, at two o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, um, there would be about five of us on this beach right now. And that's something that makes this, this area really attractive. But the other thing that is happening and I want you guys to be aware of is that we're having a lot of pressure at the time of this recording. Um, you know, their inventories are low, which they are all across the country. And I've shared this with you guys before, but I'm from Detroit originally. Um, we moved down here in December of 18 and, um, you know, I still have a real estate team back home in Detroit. We sell in the uh, Brighton, Ann Arbor and uh, the Western suburbs of Detroit. And we're having some of the hardest times ever trying to get our clients in the properties right now you know and it, because it, it's a dogfight every day um, I've got another client that we're relocating from uh, Virginia Beach to Grand Rapids area and same thing is happening there and this is why I'm sharing this with you guys is because that pressure is being felt here too um, and I'm getting phone calls and people are very concerned about what's going on in the real estate market they're like hey you know you, you hear the conversation all the time is there's a crash coming and there's a bubble and and I got to tell you guys you know First of all, you don't want that <laughs> because if the if the real estate market crashes, the economy is in for a whirlwind. Okay, so number one, but number two, none of the actual indicators. If you if you look at the math, none of it leans towards a, a, a crash in real estate. Now, are these prices and the, the continuing increases can, are they sustainable? Well, the answer is you know to a certain point. Um, now, what that point is, we don't know. What I do know is we were short a lot of inventory, meaning that there weren't enough homes for the demand uh, that we had prior to the pandemic. And I broke this down with numbers before because people say this and they don't give numbers, but on an average year, 10 to 13% of the country will move. Well, in 2020, 15% of the country moved, which is a huge jump when you're talking about 330 million people, right? In 2021, 20% of the country moved. 
That's insane. And not only did 20% of the country move, 20% of that 20% relocated out of state. And that's put a lot of demand on very attractive areas. And the Sun Belt, you know, basically Tennessee and, and below, have a lot to offer. I mean, y'all, look at this weather. Um, this is one thing, but we, we don't have a personal property tax or a personal income tax here. Our property taxes are much lower than other places across the country. And again, that's a matter of perspective. But if I compare this, you know, our pr uh, property taxes to New, New Jersey, New York, California, we are half usually and sometimes two thirds less. And when you wrap your mind around that, that's incredible. And you know, when the pandemic started, Tampa was considerably undervalued in real estate. And this is why I wanted to jump on here and share this with you guys today. You know, as we're talking through this, because the question is, is like, you know, I'm just going to wait for the market to cool or is it ever going to cool? Those are the things that are people, people are calling and asking me. And look, Tampa's projected to be the number one real estate market in the country this year. And the reason is because nationally, if you look at coastal regions, T Tampa Bay, the, T the entire Tampa Bay area is considerably more affordable than, than most of the main areas. And, I'm, and I broke this down in a recent video, but the average home price at the time of this recording um, in Miami was 469, okay? That's the average sales price. Um, in Naples, Florida, it's $506,000. In Tampa, it's 359, all right? Now we've grown 30% in the last year. That's a huge growth number. But if you look at areas like you know, the Northeast, Boston, Massachusetts, uh, New England area. If you look out west, and the, and the, and you start looking at the prices of those homes, where the medium home price is seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. When you look at three fifty, that's crazy talk. And the areas that we're in now, and that's the Greater Tampa Bay area, right? So I'll just give you know, I'm always trying to be straight with you guys. The area where we're at now in Indian Rocks Beach. If you go right over the intercoastal waterway, so we're talking a mile the other way, you can you can get a three bedroom, two two bath home with a pool, private residence, single family home for for less than five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, it won't be the nicest house in the neighborhood. You're going to be talking about that, you know, mid fives to to lower sevens, but it's going to be a very nice home. And if you really wrap your mind around that, that's incredible. So when we start talking about value and, and why so many people are choosing to relocate and they're, 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 they're choosing Tampa as that new area is because, again, coastally speaking, we are ridiculously undervalued. And at a 3.5% interest rate, I think we're up at 3 and 3 quarter now, we are still ridiculously undervalued. Now, would I say the same thing if we were a 6% interest rate? Probably not. Do we see that in any time in the near future? Lord only knows. You know, they're trying to do things to temper inflation here, but I have no idea how long that's going to take. We don't know how long it's going to take. And again, that hurts the entire economy, not just real estate. Can the real estate market sustain at this, at this current trajectory? I don't think the answer to that is yes. It is going to for the, consider, the foreseeable future because demand is ridiculously high. And think about it, y'all. The generations, right? Millennials, which are now in their prime home buying years, which you know, in theory, have killed down some of that school debt, but are really making much better incomes. They're in their prime home buying area. And the, the boomers haven't necessarily downsized. And then that's put extra demand on the market because those single family homes that would normally be turning aren't coming due, okay? So you look at that, Tampa's an older area as well. You know, housing here in, in Pinellas County and, and uh, we're in Indian Rocks Beach, like I said, we're about 35 miles, actually we're 30 miles uh, west of downtown Tampa Bay. But Tampa's an older city. The infrastructure's older, some of the housing is older. You know, a lot of our homes here in Pinellas County were built in the mid 70s. Um, but St. Pete's got houses that were built in the turn of the century in 1900. Um, but there's nowhere to build here. So people are buying homes in newer areas like Wesley Chapel. And uh, we did a video on Wesley Chapel, which that is by far the number one area that I'm getting phone calls for right now. They have the, the largest man-made lagoon in the state, I think it's in the country, um, over at Epperson. It's a seven and a half acre um, crystal lagoon. It's beautiful. 
um, supported by all new construction. But that's a good 30, 30 minutes north of uh, uh, downtown Tampa Bay just to touch the border of Wesley Chapel and up in Epperson, you're talking almost 50 minutes um, to get to the, the lagoon there. But it's a, um, a planned community development. And what it does is it allows you to have access to this lagoon as part of your association. And uh, the plan is actually to take that uh, lagoon and make it private. So you're essentially buying into that. And I share that with you guys because areas like um, Wesley Chapel, areas like Fishhawk, which is another beautiful area, great schools. The areas I'm talking about now are all highly rated. You know, A-plus schools, you know, just absolutely uh, beautiful places to live. But you've got um, uh, Wesley Epperson at Wesley Chapel. You've got Fishhawk Ranch, which is in uh, Lithia, which is the Riverview Brandon area. We, we put that on a map. As you head further south, we've got Lakewood Ranch, um, which is uh, North Bradenton, uh, I'm sorry, South Bradenton, uh, uh, Sarasota area. Um, it's only 30 minutes south of St. Pete. That's another community development district where you have access to all the amenities it has to offer. Um, it's absolutely incredible. But these are the areas that people are really trying to get into and they're all new construction. And you know, that would be the reason why, right? So why is it? Why are, why are people, you know, making this jump and, and what do, do you need to be fearful of, of trying to get in this market? Cause this is the other thing too. You know, I had a, a couple fly in from uh, Nashville um, a few weeks ago. Um, great, great people. They were, they were so awesome. We met for breakfast. We had brunch. It was awesome. But they're concerned because the market's so so intense and they don't really want to be in a multiple offer situation fighting for uh, you know an investment property, which I, can, I completely respect. Um, you know, the question you got to ask yourself when you get in those types of situations is if you wait, is there an advantage, right? Like, are you trying to time the market? Because that's a really tough game to play, number one. Uh, Number two, interest rates are going to continue to climb during that perspective. And rarely ever do interest rates and prices go up, but that's what's happening right now, y'all. And that's something to be very mindful of when you're considering making that move or you're trying, you know, you're trying to, to, to get that home or second property. But I wanted to just jump on here today and share with you guys. Uh, oh, I got to really, I'm going to show this to you. One second. We are being interrupted because there's a really cool sand feature here. Somebody made a dragon, y'all. Look at that. This guy's out here. You guys don't mind being interrupted, do you? <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go on the other side so you can get a better view of that. Come on the other side here. Check out this beautiful creation this guy's making. Look at this. Wow. Oh look, there's another dragon right there. Very cool. We got a frog. <laughs> and a snowman. So sorry to be interrupted there, but I gotta share that stuff with you guys, right? That's why that's why I love it here. But for you, you know, you really gotta start asking yourself these questions, right? Do I wanna play in that sandbox? Because for the foreseeable future, whether you're buying in Tampa or anywhere else in the country right now you're in the situation where you're most likely gonna to have to go and compete with your dollars to get the home you're looking for. And you know, you see a price tag on a home, and I know sometimes it's really hard for us, you know, to wrap our mind around the fact when we see a price that we're not gonna pay any more than that because we've been conditioned, right? Um, by the fact that you can walk into a, you know, a Macy's and you see a price tag and you know exactly what you're paying for it. But housing doesn't work like that. Housing is based upon supply and demand. And right now, the demand is sky high and the inventories are crazy low. And I wanna give you another number just so I'm not saying that. Inventories year over year in, in Sarasota in January, we're down 49%, y'all, okay? We were down 42% in the Tampa, Tampa Bay area. 42% less homes to sell with more people free to move and buy those homes. So of course it starts putting demand and pressure on it. But what does this all mean for you? 
Well, first of all, if you guys have questions about the real estate market and you really want to dig in, because I try to hold back on, on these talks. I really, I am in, I, I love studying the numbers and I love nerding out about this stuff because it makes a huge difference on how I approach things, okay? We moved down here. We studied multiple areas in Florida before we made our decision. And we were long on Tampa because I believed it was undervalued and that was in 2018, right? I didn't know there was a pandemic coming, I'm not that smart. But I could see that coastally it was undervalued and Tampa was getting younger. That to me is always a really nice, really nice thing to look at. Because if young money's coming and established money is already there, that means you should have a steady incline. Now, the rocket ship we've been on, no one can predict that. Okay, but here's here's what I believe. The home we bought, and I'll just give you guys perspective. Our house it was listed for, I think, 380. Ended up getting it under contract. Now, this is prior to all this nonsense for like for 360. 359 was the total price we paid. And my my goal, my hope was, based upon my real estate experience, is that my home would be worth three quarters of a million dollars in the next seven to 10 years. Well, <laughs> one of our neighbors in, in, in our neighborhood who has the biggest house in the neighborhood, um, there's only a couple of, of, of that model that were ever built in that home. Our home was built in 1977, nothing fancy, right? All block home, uh, but he, he had a 4-3 with a pool. We have a 4-2 with a pool and they completely renovated the house. He bought it last year from uh, for sale by owner. He rented the home entirely, put a ton of money into it, a ton of work. It's absolutely stunning. That, that house is pending at $730,000, y'all. Now I know, part of market timing, market conditions, I get all that, and that's not about me, right? Like we gotta sell the house to make the money. But what, I, what I'm sharing with you is like, I was hoping that would happen the next seven to 10 years. It's basically happening in three. And there is more runway. You know, I'm long on Tampa. I think this area has another three to five years of growth, even if the rest of the economy starts to slow and cool because of the things I discussed with you, right? No personal income tax, right? Um, there's no taxes. There's no personal income tax at all. And let, let me explain, we can go even deeper, right? If you sell a stock, like you don't get charged on that tax in the state of Florida, like that's incredible. So in terms of like growing your wealth, that's why people choose this area. And y'all, I mean, come on, look around me. I'm sure you've seen these houses <laughs> as we've been walking. I mean, today is just incredible, right? I'm starting to sweat now. We've got a good half mile in, so forgive me, y'all. Wipe it off. But it is a beautiful 80 degrees here today. The humidity was like 60%, and uh, the UV is probably somewhere around 11. I'll post that up here so you guys can check that out. But, I mean, it is February, and this is what's happening. I mean, I just love it. So. I come on, I wanted to share this with you because get, I'm getting so many phone calls right now um, about what is happening in the market. Everybody wants a crystal ball. And let me just start by saying this, right? Or end by saying this, I should say. No one has that crystal ball. When the economy melted down last time, last time all the economists couldn't predict that, right? So anybody who can t sit here and tell you that they know beyond a shadow of a doubt, they, listen, y'all, that's not how the world works. But if you study the numbers, right? And if you wanna know more about that, like I said, put a comment below, reach out to me. You can call, text, DM, email. Heck, I don't care how you get hold of me, right? Call, we can chop it up, schedule a time. I put my calendar down below. You can literally schedule 30 minutes with me. We can jump on a Zoom call. I can show you on the map you know, where things are, where things are struggling, where is the best areas. You know, there's some really nice up and coming areas that people are not talking about right now. And I'm gonna start featuring those real soon, y'all. Um, because that, I think, is where those next growth areas are gonna be. And we'll talk about those on upcoming videos. But if you wanna know that, hit me up, right? Feel free to call. I don't have anything to sell you, okay? If you guys want to relocate or move or invest in the area and you've made that decision, I'd be more than happy to help you do it, but I don't have anything to sell you. My job is to, to be a guide. Real estate sells itself, y'all. And listen, we do a ton of marketing. We help people sell their properties. I get that. But the decision gets made by the client. And if you've already made that decision and you are looking for someone to guide you through that in the Tampa Bay area, my team here at the True Living Group would be more than happy to help you. You can call, text, email, DM, just like I said. But outside of that, y'all, I just wanted to come, connect, 
give you some thoughts on what's going on in the real estate market right now because I can put link after link I can put article after article you know about how our rental markets insane it's harder to get a rental in Tampa right now than it is to buy a single family home and let me tell you that's not for the faint of heart but it can be done if you can be navigated through the waters if you know how to write great offers if you work with professional agents not just myself but people who really understand how to negotiate understand psychology understand how to navigate through waters like today in this real estate market and you can win the people who are still sitting on the sidelines who have been predicting a crash for the last two years have lost almost 40 percent of equity gains and before i forget y'all i almost forgot new construction okay so this is a question that i get all the time hey Juan, what's going on with new construction? What does it actually look like to buy a new construction home in the Tampa Bay market right now? And y'all, it's just like the, the pre-owned market, okay? So inventory is flying off the shelves, literally, number one. Number two, it's very, very difficult to get, to get supplies, okay? So appliances, cabinetry, all the things that we need to build homes, the supply chain is, is really bound up right now. It's delayed. Every time somebody gets sick, it delays everything even more. If someone gets sick on a crew, delay. So this all keeps adding up. And builders are really, start, they've been slowing the sales down because they just could not keep up with the demand and effectively build and service their clients and keep them happy. Well, what happens in that scenario is that you give a projected closing date and then you miss it by three months, five months, six months, and it gets crazy. So what they've done is they, most of them have decided that they're not going to start selling these properties until they're in different phases, okay? Some of them may not release a home for sale until it has a roof on it. Um, others may do it at foundation. Others might not do it till drywall, and they're all different, right? When we look at the builders, the local builders here, you've got DR Horton, who's an excellent builder. I love how they, they uh, really their service is excellent i just had really good experiences with dr horton the quality is there i think they're a good value um you know if you're not looking for a high-end you know customized home you know something that would look like that uh dr horton is right up your alley they good quality good products delivered at, at a, a reasonable price at a good time i love those guys um, but they just took a twenty thousand dollar price increase this past monday and it's nothing to see a five or ten thousand dollar price increase and they're going to continue to do that as long as the demand is there right so that's what's happening in the market you've got taylor morrison who you know they're closing out properties you've got uh lennar you've got neil holmes uh pulte is another builder down here there's there's a there's a bunch of them guys but you know what's happening with other builders is they might release a property a lot for auction and then you bid on the property um the the lot specifically and then you have the home built on it so it's definitely a challenge you know a lot of these new construction properties are somewhere be on the low end we're seeing six months out on the high end we're seeing as much as, as 12 to 18 months so just wanted to give you guys a little bit of perspective on that but what we do is we call every single week every monday i call down the builders i get an update on where they are in their pricing that's how we knew about dr horton um, we get an idea of inventory what to expect and then what we're doing with our clients is we're calling them and saying hey where are you at with your timetable because most of the time when people call us they're not ready to move tomorrow they, have a, they already have a home that they either have to sell or this is gonna be their second home, so they're starting that process there. But whatever, you know, whenever it comes to that, if you guys got questions, let me know. We usually have uh, site maps, so you can you know, see what the lots are. We have pretty recent pricing. Like I said, we, we call every Monday. It doesn't mean they always give us updates, but we try to have those for our clients and anyone who's looking in the area. So if you guys are looking for new construction information in the Tampa Bay area, please don't hesitate. We'd love to answer those questions for you too. And like I said, thank you so much for joining us, y'all. We will see you on the next video. Go out, live that Tampa life.